In today's show, Morgan Stanley introduces Bitcoin investing to their millionaire clients. Also in today's show, 60,000 Bitcoin price back in sight after Morgan Stanley as well as the Fed announcements. Also in today's show, breaking news, Asia's MicroStrategy, the publicly traded Chinese tech company, May 2 drops another 50 million on Ethereum and Bitcoin. As you can see right here, breaking Hong Kong listed company May 2 has purchased another 16,000 Ethereum at $28.4 million and 386 Bitcoin at $21.6 million. The group now has $90 million worth of cryptocurrencies. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also, Bitcoin on target for $75,000 in the next three to four weeks. According to the Bitcoin archive, the next four to six weeks are crucial. Full year bull market ahead or accelerate for a peak in May slash June. Also in today's show, more breaking news. The oldest bank in America, the Bank of New York Mellon, just invested into the Bitcoin custodian company Fireblocks. BNY Mellon is one of the world's largest custody banks, and they plan to hold, transfer, and buy Bitcoin for their asset management clients. As you can see in this Forbes headline, BNY Mellon joins 133 million in Series C in Bitcoin custodian Fireblocks. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also in today's episode, could we see a $288,000 Bitcoin price by this December? Well, Bitcoin will not stop at $100,000 according to the creator of the stock to flow model, Plan B, who recently tweeted, we are only three and a half months into the Bitcoin bull market. In my opinion, Bitcoin will not stop at $100,000 and will continue to the stock to flow X. 288000 average price level and the all-time high will be higher. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin and all the major altcoins are currently breaking out and in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, BlockFi, where you can put your crypto to work. They're paying out a 6% annual percentage yield on Bitcoin, so you can literally have your Satoshis work for you. They're paying out 5.25% on Ethereum, as well as 9.3% on USDT. Now, their other flagship product is crypto back loans. You ever wonder, how can I access fiat capital without selling my precious crypto? Well, look no further, because with BlockFi, you can get an interest rate as low as four and a half percent they also have a special promo running right now where you can get up to a 250 dollars crypto bonus with a deposit of 25 dollars or more all you need to do is click my link in the description right down below it'll take you here then click this yellow button that says sign up and you'll notice the referral code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this special bonus so what are you waiting for click the link right down below and let's start stacking those sats Shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. We have a lot to discuss today, so let's waste no time and dive right in. Institutional banking powerhouse Morgan Stanley seems to have given Bitcoin its nod of approval based on fresh intel via an internal memo as reported on CNBC. Morgan Stanley will give clients access to Bitcoin investing, though only under specific conditions. Here you have it. The investment bank, a giant in wealth management with $4 trillion in client assets, told its financial advisors on Wednesday in an internal memo that it's launching access to three funds that enable ownership of Bitcoin. According to people with direct knowledge of the matter, CNBC reported on Wednesday, the opportunity is expected to open in April, according to the sources. Now, Bitcoin interest from mainstream finance has risen significantly over the past year or so, with players such as MicroStrategy, Tesla, and Square by and large stacks of Bitcoin. Participants in Morgan Stanley's wealth management wing can gain access to Bitcoin through Galaxy Digital's Bitcoin Fund LP and institutional Bitcoin Fund LP, as well as FS Investments, FS NYDIG Select Fund, although allocation is capped at 2.5% of each client's overall wealth. Clients must also carry accredited investor status, hold capital at Morgan Stanley, valuing $2 million or more, and maintain a certain account history. The minimum raises to $5 million for investment firm clientele. Each fund also comes with minimum investment conditions, CNBC noted. Now, Bitcoin recovered pretty nicely yesterday from the short-lived dip, climbing about 6%, and now $60,000 is right back in sight. In fact, we're less than $2,000 away, meaning optimism returned across the crypto markets on March 17th, following a brighter economic forecast from the U.S. Federal Reserve. So thank the Fed and them continuing to 
print that money, right? And comments which hinted at the possibility of an interest rate hike in 2022 if employment and economic indicators continue to improve. Now, data from Cointelegraph Markets and TradingView shows that Bitcoin struggled below that $57,000 level during the early trading hours until the announcement from the U.S. Federal Reserve sparked the rally, which took Bitcoin to an intraday high of $58,243, as you can see in the four-hour Bitcoin chart right here on your screen. Now, the bullish momentum for the top cryptocurrency began to build after it was revealed that institutional banking giant Morgan Stanley will soon offer certain investors access to three funds that allow their clients to own Bitcoin, as I just broke down for you, and further validation for a continuance of the current bull market came from Bitcoin stock the flow creator, Plan B, who feels that Bitcoin will not stop at the $100,000 mark and could reach an average price as high as $288,000 with its all-time high, registering even higher, which I'm going to break down in greater details a little later for you right here in the show. Now, traditional markets rally after Jerome Powell's comments. Also, altcoins get a boost as Grayscale provides exposure. Select altcoins also move higher after Grayscale Investments announced it had added five new products to its lineup, offering exposures to basic attention token BAT, Chainlink, Link, the Central Land Mana, Filecoin, FIL, and LivePeer, LPT, as they tweeted right here. Announcement, five new products have been added to the Grayscale lineup. We have basic attention token, Chainlink, the Central Land, Filecoin, and Live Peer. So there you have it. The announcement sparked price rallies for all projects involved, with Live Peer seeing the biggest impact as its price rocketed more than 260% from a low of $5.53 to a new all time high of $20.21. And at this time, FIL is up 40% to a price of $89. Mana, Decentraland is up 7.3% to a price of $1.01. And BAT, Basic Attention Token, has increased by 44% to set a new all time high of $1.36. And it goes to show you the power of the institution. Grayscale, just from them adding these coins to their portfolio, all of them are surging and breaking out. And before I break down our next breaking stories of the day, Asia's MicroStrategy May 2 drops another 50 million on Ethereum and Bitcoin, as well as Bitcoin on target for $75,000 in the next three to four weeks, as well as breaking news, the oldest bank in America, Bank of New York Mellon, just invested into the Bitcoin custodian company, Fireblocks, as well as a $288,000 price prediction by this December, because according to the Stock to Flow creator Plan B, Bitcoin will not stop at $100,000. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin up 4.5%, recovering nicely, now trading above $57,700. We have Ethereum up 1.4%, trading just under $1,800. Chainlink up 6%, trading just under $30. We have ADA Cardano recently listed on Coinbase, which gave it a nice price surge up 13.5% percent for the day trading at a dollar 40 and bnb up five percent trading at 264 dollars all right now let's break down our next breaking story of the day chinese tech company meitu announced the investment of a further 50 million dollars into ethereum and bitcoin taking its net spend on crypto up to roughly 90 million dollars just this month of march the hong kong and china listed company purchased 386 bitcoin for 21.6 million and 16,000 ethereum for around 28.4 million on march 17th the recent announcement follows the initial crypto investment on March 5th, in which the company acquired 15,000 ETH for around 22.1 million and roughly 379 Bitcoin for approximately $17.9 million. In the latest announcement, the company noted that while cryptocurrency is still in its formative stages, it believes that blockchain technology has the potential to be a disruptive force in existing financial and technology industries. They go on to share, the board believes that the blockchain industry is still in its early stage, analogous to the mobile internet industry in circa 2000. And five. Against this backdrop, the board believes cryptocurrencies have ample room for appreciation and value. The company also cited the growing trend of large institutions such as Tesla and MicroStrategy accumulating Bitcoin and the increasing acceptance for cryptocurrency as a form of payment for goods and services in mainstream society as reasons for the additional purchase. May 2 went public in 2016 and is listed in China and Hong Kong. The tech company developed May 2 Pick, an app that lets users edit and retouch photos that is popular in mainland China, Hong Kong, as well as Taiwan. And following the announcement of its first investment on March 5th, Chinese journalist Wu Blockchain suggested it was the first Chinese listed company to buy a large amount of Bitcoin. However, it seems unlikely many more publicly listed Chinese companies will announce large crypto purchases in the near future as the regulatory environment in the country is highly uncertain. China currently accepts Bitcoin as a virtual commodity, but prohibits trading platforms from engaging and exchanging legal tender for virtual currencies as well as tokens. Now let's break down the $75,000 Bitcoin price prediction 
prediction from the Bitcoin archive who tweeted Bitcoin on target for $75,000 in the next three to four weeks. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. The next four to six weeks are crucial. Full year bull market or accelerate for a peak in May slash June. And they included this chart. You can see right here on your screen. It shows that red dot, which is circled, which is at that $75,000 mark, which they project is going to occur in the next three to four weeks. And before I break down our next breaking story of the day, the oldest bank in America, the Bank of New York Mellon, investing into Bitcoin custodian company, Fireblocks, as well as the Stock the Flow Creator Plan B, projecting a $288,000 Bitcoin price by this December. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting just under $1.8 billion, with about $136 billion in volume in the past 24 hours, and current Bitcoin dominance sitting at 60.7%, and the current Bitcoin market cap at almost $1.1 trillion once again. Now checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Kyber Network up 32%, trading at $3.10. Basic Attention Token, which was recently listed by Grayscale, up 30%, trading at $1.29. Also Decentraland, listed by Grayscale, up 25%, trading at $1.04, as well as five Filecoin added by Grayscale up 24% trading at 85 bucks and right under that we have Chili's up 23% for the day trading at 62 cents and up a whopping 130% for the week. Now checking out the top losers within the top 100 we have Holo down 3% for the day but still up almost 130% for the week trading at 0 .007. Flow down 1% trading at $32.10 and Ravencoin down almost 1% trading just under 22 cents. All right now let's break down our next breaking story of the day. New York City based crypto custodian Fireblocks has raised $133 million in Series C venture capital funding with strategic investment from BNY Mellon and Silicon Valley Bank. This round was led by Kautu, Ribbit, and Stripes. According to Fireblocks' statement, the completion of the round brings the company's total amount of venture capital raised to $179 million. Previous investors include Paradigm, Galaxy Digital, and Swisscom Ventures. With raised capital, the company plans to expand the infrastructure for its rapidly increasing customer base. Engineering is going to be a major part of our spend, says Fireblock CEO and co-founder Michael Shalov. Over the past couple of months, the firm has onboarded 70 new clients and will likely have 80 new customers by the end of this quarter, twice more than forecasted. And to date, Fireblocks has completed $400 billion in digital asset transfers for approximately 230 clients. So we're talking about massive whales, including banks, hedge funds, fintech firms, and exchanges, among others. The firm closely advises 50% of the top 70 banks in the world and has developed and pilot products with five multinational banks, says Shalov. Assets under management lie to the 10 to $20 billion range. So as you can see, this story is a pretty big deal. We are proud to be a part of a larger movement to bring digital assets mainstream, said a spokesperson for BNY Mellon in an email. This strategic investment is the logical next step in our journey to being an asset servicer for all asset classes. And in February, America's oldest bank launched a digital assets unit, and it started to provide fun accounting and administration services for a Bitcoin ETF. ETF in Canada with plans to expand the offering to the United States when such products are approved. The bank's own digital asset custody will be available later this year. Pending required approvals, writes the company's representative. No further details were disclosed, but Fireblocks underlying technology will be an important part of the new digital assets platform. So there you have it. And before I break down our final story of the day, discussing a $288,000 Bitcoin price by this December, because according to Plan B, the creator of the stock to flow model, Bitcoin will not stop at $100,000 thousand dollars but before i break this down first i want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market this goes for all 720 plus videos right here on my youtube channel also some very helpful resources for you to plug into including my daily letter which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day the importance of subscribing is what if i got delisted or deplatformed as they're doing to a lot of cryptopreneurs on youtube as well as twitter we still need to maintain communication. That's why you need to visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video in the description to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. You can also find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience to Apple's iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is crypto news 
Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group. All you got to do is click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat, which is uncensored. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right. Now let's break down our final story of the day. Bitcoin has plenty of room to grow in its current bull run and will not stop at $100,000, according to analysts, including Plan B, the creator of the stock to flow model and various posts on social media on Wednesday. The stock to flow Bitcoin price model creator joined others in predicting a huge new all time high for the king of all crypto, with Bitcoin trading sideways below both its recent peak of 58,300 and 61,700, which is an all time high. Investors are curious where the 2021 bull run may end. And as Cointelegraph reported, depending on the price indicator used, the peak could be uncomfortably near or still far off for followers of the stock to flow. The answer remains firmly the latter compared with the previous bull cycles. 2021 is just getting started and I couldn't agree more if you're to ask me I say we're still in the bottom of the first inning and uh, checking out plan B's recent tweet here on crypto Twitter December closed at $28,992 January closed at $33,141 February closed at $45,240 and March 17th at the time he made this tweet Bitcoin was trading at about $55,000 so you can see the trajectory month after month is continuing to go up and he also shares we are only three and a half months into the Bitcoin bull market. That, my friend, is a fact. In my opinion, Bitcoin will not stop at $100,000 and will continue to stock the flow X 288,000 average price level. And he also notes that the all-time high will be higher. How high do you think the all-time high will likely be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. He also recently tweeted this morning, Bitcoin looking strong, in my opinion. We will see the RSI 95, and we will stay at that level for a couple of months, like 2017, 2013, and 2011, referring to the Bitcoin Relative Strength Index, as you can see right here on your screen. He referenced both his stock to flow and stock to flow cross asset model, which is stock to flow X, which gives an average price forecast of 100,000 to 288,000 per Bitcoin during the current halving cycle set to end in 2024. This is just the average, however, and Plan B believes that the peak of this cycle would be double those figures or even more, potentially in excess of 576 thousand dollars let's go btc so could we see further gains of 6x by december currently bitcoin is following the stock to flow trajectory almost to the letter like clockwork as plan b described it and it has yet to give off signs that the crypto top is approaching as fellow analyst rec capital noted such signs tend to come in the form of bitcoin slash usd jumping above the planned trajectory as he tweeted right here on crypto twitter upside price deviations from the stock to flow line tend to precede bull market tops for bitcoin at the moment bitcoin is perfectly following the stock the flow line, but Bitcoin hasn't deviated from it yet. In 2011, Bitcoin enjoyed 1157% upside deviation, as we can see right here on your screen. And continuing, Plan B highlighted December as the deadline for 288,000 as the price target to hit. And in Twitter responses, he reasoned that the bull run has at least some more months to go. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree with the creator of the stock to flow model, Plan B. And do you believe that we can hit a $576,000 Bitcoin price at the height of this cycle? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for a quick recap what I covered with you right here in today's show. Morgan Stanley introduces Bitcoin investing for their millionaire clients. Also, the Bitcoin price now has $60,000 right back in sight. Grayscale adds five new products to their lineup, including Basic Attention Token, Chainlink, Decentraland, Filecoin, and Livepeer, which have all started to break out since the announcement. Also, in today's show, I shared breaking news. Asia's MicroStrategy, the Chinese publicly traded tech company, Meitu, drops another $50 million on Ethereum, as well as Bitcoin up in their whole to now 90 million in cryptocurrency. Also in today's show, I share Bitcoin on target for $75,000 in the next three to four weeks, according to the Bitcoin archive as outlined right here in this chart. Also shared breaking news that the oldest bank in America, the Bank of New York Mellon, just invested into Bitcoin custodian company Fireblocks. Also in today's show, I shared a $288,000 Bitcoin price target by December, according to the stock to flow model creator, Plan B, who says Bitcoin will not stop at $100,000. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go from here? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium 
crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick, before I go, I want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. Here's where you can put your crypto to work. They have two flagship products. One allows you to earn an annual percentage yield on your crypto, such as 6% on BTC, 5.25% on Ethereum, or 9.3% on USDT. Now, what I love about BlockFi, besides the fact they're so easy to use and that there are no hidden fees, they are backed by the biggest names in the industry. So there's peace of mind. They're backed by Winklevoss, Fidelity, Morgan Creek, and Coinbase. And they have a promo running right now where you can get up to a $250 crypto bonus with a deposit of $25 or more. All you need to do is click on my referral link in the description. Right down below, it'll take you here. Then click this yellow button that says sign up and you'll notice the referral code already pre-populated for you to take advantage of this special bonus. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below. Let's start stacking those stats. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.